welcome to this sheet metal tutorial guys in this tutorial we are going to be making this support in sheet metal and this is the flattened form of this support so let's begin first open a part file guys select part and click ok and from here change the background to plain white and after that select this front plane and click on sketch and here select the center line and make here a straight center line make sure that this is straight then select a line and make a horizontal then vertical then this again horizontal line press escape button now let's define it select this line and here specify the length of this line as 55 millimeter the length of this horizontal line as 35 millimeter from this line to this center point here specify the dimension as 95 and from this horizontal line this horizontal line to the center point I'm defining the distance as 12 millimeter now here you can see the sketch is fully defined it is always always advisable to make sketch as fully defined now select mirror entities and if anything is selected in this window just select and delete I want these three lines to be selected in this window and mirror about this vertical line and as you can see this sketch will be mirrored when we check this box the sketch is fully defined and let me show you how to enable the sheet metal tab so when you select here the sheet metal tab will get enabled and this is the base flange command when you enable it you can basically drag it from here or you here you can specify the length of extrusion this is 82 millimeter when you check this box from here it will get extruded like this and now we are left with few things select this face and click on sketch and uh, make some center lines for reference guys from this point to this point because we want to get this point this midpoint so this is the horizontal line that will be used for as a reference and from this point to this point make a line this is center line guys and I'm using shortcut to select the center line you can select it from above now make a circle here because I want to cut holes and let's specify the diameter of this circle as 10 millimeter as you can see sketch is underdefined because we are left with this dimension from this point to this reference line let's specify the distance as 23 and as you can see the sketch is fully defined now and now select here mirror entities in this window entities to be mirrored circle and mirror about this hor horizontal line check this box from here and now we need one more reference center line so I'm making here a center line make sure that this is straight so I'm specifying here vertical relation now select mirror entities again and select these two circle and mirror about this vertical reference line and as you can see this will get uh, mirrored about the other face now make a circle at this center this will be somewhat larger uh, hole this will be 15 millimeter and now select their extruded cut command and we must here select through all both but let me show you if we don't select through all both what will happen the bigger circle it is not going to be cut here so if we check this box from here and here as we can see the bigger circle is not appeared here so we can go and edit feature here we need to select here both all so that it can be cutted on both directions so that's how we usually make mistakes in SolarWorks we must know how to identify them and how to solve them so I'm making here some fillets on the four edges and here specify the radius of the fillet I'm specifying here 5 millimeter check this box from here and now let's uh, specify some appearance for better visualization and now let's 
flatten it in sheet metal so select here sheet metal tab and here is the option for the flatten when you select it this is basically the flat length of the metal we can work on them and make it a support like this